Archangel Gabriel's Daily Messages, August 24 to 30, 2014. Dear ones, we understand that for many of you, predictability equals safety. So why not put your trust in the things that never change? Source energy is an eternal stream of unconditional love, acceptance, healing, encouragement and support. Your guides, your angels, the masters, all love you unconditionally and support you in a way that is consistent, reliable, trustworthy, appropriate and everlasting. Your inner guidance system is always available to you, to guide you and support you, and lead you to your highest good. Do you see? The predictability and safety you yearn for does exist for you, always, in all ways, if you know where to look for it. Many of you think that to embrace unity consciousness you lose your preferences and your uniqueness. Nothing could be further from the truth. Unity consciousness encourages you to shine your unique energy as a vital and necessary aspect of the whole. It accepts you, and it sees all others as also being vital and necessary to the whole, as well. You still get to be you, and you still get to be discerning about how you spend your time and who you share it with. Think of shoppers in a grocery store. You are all having the same experience, shopping for food. But what your preferences are, and what you ultimately put in your cart, is unique to you. No one else in the whole store will have the exact combination of items to purchase. You are all completely accepted as being equally important, however much you decide to buy of whatever pleases you, because as you shop, you support the entirety of the store, as the store supports you with its offerings. Although you are all human beings present upon an ascending planet, there is so much room for individual expression, experience, and preference, and all of those add to the whole. So be you, and know that to do so is to share the greatest gift you have, your own beautiful expression of source energy. Many of you have been raised to believe that always doing is noble, and laziness is to be avoided at all costs. This paved the way for people to become very out of balance, to glorify being busy as being virtuous, and to deny the needs of the self. People pack their days so full that when they finally stop they fall fast asleep out of sheer exhaustion. For so many, busyness has become the greatest distraction tool of the ego. Joy, passion, connection, and self-nurturing all become lost under this model of doing this. Dear ones, you are on the planet to be. You embrace your own unique contribution to the whole by knowing yourselves, by connecting to Source, by following your passions and joys. When you allow yourself to be, you embrace the now moment. You become self-loving and nurturing, and because you are full and satisfied, you are able to extend true connection and love to others. You are mindful, and follow the path of grace and ease, rather than effort. You are grateful, which is how you create even more of what you wish to experience in an empowered way. Because you embrace stillness, you feel the subtle energies of your guides, masters, and higher self, which allows you to continue to live your highest life expression, and enjoy the deep satisfaction that brings. Rather than missing life, you are savoring life, which is what we all wish for each and every one of you. So make time for you, dear ones. Slow down. Connect. Love yourselves. B. Give yourselves permission to slow down because the stillness you've been encouraged to avoid holds all the treasures you've been missing and hoping to find. It is through being, rather than doing, that you will find the joy and enlightenment you seek. There are many different facets of faith. Most people think faith is having a belief in a higher power, and it is. But it is also believing in yourself, and others, as being part of that higher power, and having the innate wisdom and guidance to have the exact experiences each soul desires. Faith, simply put, is recognizing the spark of divinity that exists everywhere you look, and knowing deep down that everything is always divinely perfect. We realize many of you are seeking healing for emotional wounds. Dear ones, the first step of emotional healing is to create a safe place for the healing to occur. Just as you can't expect a physical wound to heal if you keep ripping off the scab, you cannot expect emotional healing to occur if you continue to stay in an environment that continually reopens those wounds. 
we urge you to create a safe environment for your healing. That means making sure the people who are in your life are safe people for you, who love and support you in the way you deserve to be treated. We also ask you to stop any way you continue to rewound yourself, either by perpetually reliving the past or through your own self-abusive behaviors. You are all on the planet to evolve beyond victim consciousness into your authentic power. The most important step of that transition is to create the safe, loving, nurturing environment necessary for the healing to begin. It is time to be your own hero, your own parent, your own nurturer, your own tender, sweet love. Accept nothing less than the treatment you would insist upon for a beloved child, or your best friend. Once you do, you will create the perfect conditions for true healing, and joyful living to occur. Dear ones, flow is absolutely essential to your spiritual growth and wellness. It is the way your soul navigates its way to your next great experience and adventure. If you are around people who are unsafe for you, in that their behavior is unpredictable, abusive, neglectful, dismissive, controlling or in any way unsupportive or unloving, you will naturally become guarded and self-protecting, which will absolutely knock you out of flow. Love yourselves enough to create an environment that is safe, nurturing, and supportive in order to expand, connect, and be in the way your soul craves. Your life will change in the most wondrous ways when you can enter into the flow and stay in it consistently. Many enlightening human beings have led rather solitary existences as part of their awakening process. There was a need to withdraw in order to create the environment necessary for growth, energetic adjustment, and healing. Retreating was creating the safe space required to evolve beyond the old wounds and stories. Now those same people have reached a time where they are now able to emerge again, in a far more authentic way, healed and balanced to the point where they would not accept or draw behavior that is unloving or abusive. Do you see? Your own healing and balance needed to be nurtured first before you could go forth and embody that state of actuation beyond your own environment. This is the natural progression of your efforts, dear ones. As the first wave steps back out again, holding completely different energies than when they began, the second wave will start their withdrawal process, and so it goes. Some humans are in a stage of cocooning, while others are in a stage of emergence. It is the wonderful unfolding of self-discovery, in different phases, that is part of the amazing shift you are all part of. Archangel Gabriel Channeled through Shelley Young TrinityEsoterics.com